Um, so of the other comics in Boston at the time, who really made an impression on you, either in their comedy or perhaps somebody that was kind of a, like a role model or somebody? Uh, there was a mentality in Boston that fed right into this Snoopy, Groucho Mark. There was guys like Don Gavin and Steve Sweeney. Don Gavin in particular was a guy who just had it. He just was funny poured out of this guy. And he wasn't the guy that was like jumping up and down and acting crazy. He just would let, he would just sting people. He was roasting everybody and he was self-deprecating. And he just had this tough guy attitude when he was on stage where he would walk on stage with a drink and he would, and he would pull out the stool and he'd sit on the stool. You know, there's 350 pe rowdy people. Everybody's up there trying to match their energy. Everybody's trying to like, play to the back of the room and and kill and don would go up there with a, a dirty shirt on pull out a stool sit down on it sip sip his drink and just and just just roll out these one-liners and these little these little bits and if they didn't work he'd go eh. he'd look at his watch and go all right i got 10 more minutes but he would crush more than any of the, those other acts he would destroy and and drunk, and he was drunk all the time. These guys were doing coke, and I remember he came off. He came off stage one time, and one of the younger comics said, uh, uh, "Mr. Gavin, you um, you repeated the same joke twice." And Don just looks at the kid and he goes, "Record six. <laughs> I guess you probably learned a little bit from him because he was. He, he might have been one of the few people that wasn't trying to match the energy, like you said, he was just kind of low key, but still killing, right? Yeah, but that was a, that was a very Boston attitude. There was a, an attitude in Boston that the, the crowd did not have the power. And the good Boston comics, the guys like Mike Donovan and Kenny Rogerson, these guys all took, they took the stage and they owned it and it was theirs. And they, you know, a lot of Boston crowds had this attitude of like, I'm just as funny as you, Prove it. Prove you deserve to be up there with the microphone. You had and to. these guys, these guys did it without without trying. They just were. They just they were the guys. 